Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to Mornings with Brian and Tyler. Hopefully you have your warm caffeinated beverage, whatever it might be. Warm Dr. Pepper, coffee, same thing. Um, but we are in Proverbs 23, verses 29 through 35. Tyler? Who has woe, who has sorrow, who has contentions, who has complaints, who has wounds without cause, who has redness of eyes, those who linger long at the wine, those who go in search of mixed wine, do not look on the wine when it is red, when it sparkles in the cup, when it swirls around smoothly. At the last, it bites like a serpent and stings like a viper. Your eyes will see strange things, and your, your heart will utter perverse things. Yes, you'll be like one who lies down in the midst of the sea, or like one who lies at the top of the mast, saying, They have struck me, but I was not hurt. They have beat me, but I did not feel it. When shall I awake that I may seek another drink? So, um... Yeah, this is the warning in Proverbs about uh, alcohol and its uh, less than wonderful effects on people in their lives. Um, and, and this is very characteristic of the life of the drunkard. Uh, now, please don't ca call me up or text me or send me emails and go, Brother Brian, when I was a drunkard, that never happened to me. Okay, well, I'm happy for you that you never got the fire beat out of you while you were a drunkard. But what he's describing here, you know, someone took a beating, you know, they got up from it, they didn't really feel it, and their only goal is, when do I get to get drunk again? Uh, and as we've said before, Proverbs deals with a couple very uh, repetitive themes, one of which is alcohol. Alcohol, women, greed, these things will destroy a person very quickly. And uh, alcohol is, is definitely one of those, uh, those three, alcohol, greed, and, and the lust of the flesh, uh, those three are pretty much universal all over the planet. So, uh, not saying that every occurrence of alcohol use is sinful, but please don't argue Jesus turned water into wine when you've got Jesus having to also balance his actions with whole chunks of scripture like this that warn us about the danger of excess. And uh, is there always the danger of excess in alcohol? What do you think, Mr. Tyler? Yes, sir. Yes, there is. But, uh, years ago, you know, heard old boy, you know, that if you drank you know, if it takes 10 beers to get you drunk and you drink one beer, you're one tenth drunk. Well, that's called stupid logic. Okay, that's called bad reasoning. I understand his point, though. Uh, but here's the thing when someone says, I know where I need to stop so I don't engage in drunkenness. There's only one way you know that, and that's if you've already engaged in the sin of drunkenness. But what does wine do to us? Wine's a deceiver. Wine's a deceiver. So. Uh, you know, just don't, please don't argue that. Uh, I'm not going to give you advice on how to drink your alcohol or not drink it. You need to heed the warning of scripture's wisdom here and, uh, not become a drunkard. Other thoughts on this, my brother? No, sir. All right. With Adam Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. Lord willing, we'll see you back at 1230. But until then, like comment share and subscribe oh they move it to that side now yes i realized after i've uploaded about the past 15 20 videos of us doing it backwards that we've been doing it wrong so the subscribe is somewhere it's over here now it's changing because i am on the right in the videos where i should be so it needs to subscribe all right so be careful watch out but make sure you subscribe till lunch